Manchester City are just a game away from their first ever Champions League final, but first they'll have to overcome PSG. Joining me to discuss this match is Michael Bridges. Bridgie, City are on the brink of claiming their fifth Premier League title. How will their domestic success have an impact on their Champions League campaign? Yeah, they've been absolutely brilliant to watch this season, Michelle, domestically and in, and in Europe. And, you know, I think the more games that they've had, they've just got the timing right towards the end of the season. It was Crystal Palace at the weekend. They were just trying to make it so hard. Guardiola made eight changes from the Champions League against PSG into the Premier League. And the players that came in, they produced Aguero getting on the score sheet. Torres making it 2-0 within a minute of each other uh, when they found it so hard initially to break them down, but they found a way. And I just think the momentum that they are gathering in going forward to this second leg against PSG, everything says to me, especially after the second half performance, that they can go and do it. The City group have been crying out for this. They want the Champions League. That's what they've wanted to deliver. And they've, you know, a lot of managers have failed before. Pep has failed. They got the greatest manager in, and hopefully it is his time to deliver. Pep Guardiola said after their first leg win that the players were calm and there was no cheering. What sort of mentality would be would he be instilling in his players? Well, there's a lot of egos in there, but there are a lot of controlled egos. I think the way Pep Guardiola has that culture set up, you don't see anybody going out and showboating um, unless they are on the park with that football between their feet where they can showboat because it's a joy to watch. So he'll have them very level-headed. They would have realised in that first half how good Paris Saint-Germain were and it took a bit of tactical changes, a little bit of change in personnel for that second half performance by Manchester City when they really went and had an aggressive press. So City players don't want to get too carried away because they know they're in for a hell of a second leg and they've still got it all to do because Neymar, Mbappe, uh, Di Maria, who knows who's going to be starting and you know they're just a joy to watch so you can't count them out. On Kylian Mbappe, he might be a doubt for this game because he's dealing with a calf injury. How will this injury be dealt with? And if he does play, what can we expect from him? Well, he's always a threat. So if he's carrying an injury, they would have wrapped him in cotton wool. Everything is about getting him ready for match day. They'll give him a, till the last moment to see how he is doing, Michelle, because he's such an influential player. Um, I think we saw against Bayern Munich in the, in the quarterfinals how good he was on the counter-attack. However, Manchester City, the defenders, they found a way to nullify him, um, as they did with Erlen Haaland of Dortmund. So, you know, City got something tactically right because everything was going through Neymar, uh, Verratti and Di Maria. And Mbappe had a really, really quiet game, actually, against uh, Manchester City. And that's credit to the way that they defended. So they've got to have that same mentality if they see his name on this team sheet. What sort of pressure will Mauricio Pochettino be under if they get knocked out of the Champions League and if they don't win the League One title? Oh, I think there's a lot more pressure domestically if they don't win their domestic um, title because the, the amount of money that they have invested into this squad. Yes, they've had a turbulent season, Pochettino has come in um, and he steadied the ship to a, to a degree. Um, but I think the Champions League for them, anything is a bonus. He got another opportunity next season to have a go. Um, but yeah, the domestic um, pressure is definitely on. That is the one that they'll be scratching their head and going, how have we not done this if they don't succeed? Now for your predictions, Bridgie. Can PSG make a comeback or do Manchester City have it in the bag? It, this one is so hard to predict, Michelle. It's, um, I think we saw from the first leg how it was all dominated first half by Paris Saint-Germain. Second half came out and it was all Manchester City and they got the job done. And they've got it done in good fashion. So I'm going to say because of the momentum shift and the way they control that second half, they've got the away goals and I'm going to say Manchester City will progress. I can't give you a scoreline. I will just say they will go through and be in their first Champions League final. Thanks, Bridgie. Make sure you tune into Manchester City taking on PSG on Wednesday morning. Live coverage starts at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Optus Sport. Enjoying our YouTube channel? Be sure to subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.